Hello. In this video, we're going to look at the Project Center. You can think of the Project Center as the central hub or repository for projects. When projects are saved and published, they will be visible from the Project Center. Let's go there now. I'll click on Projects. And in this session, we will create a new project. Because project is built on the SharePoint framework, we will use the ribbon to find common commands, particularly here when creating a new project. I'll click on the Projects tab. From here, you'll notice that there's a New button with the dropdown. I'll click on that. And you'll see that there are a few different options, and we'll go into these as we go through this session. For now, I will click on Enterprise Project. So under Name, I'll simply call this Module 2 Demo Project. And I'll select a future date here. Scroll down just a little bit and click on Finish. You'll notice that upon saving the project, that it immediately drops me into this scheduling area. This is the detailed area of the project, particularly around managing the schedule. You can think of this as what you would typically be working with in a Microsoft project file. The first thing that you'll notice is that there is a subtle separation between the quick launch and the details of the project. So when you have a project open, whether you're viewing it or you're editing it, you'll notice that there are some distinct areas on this left-hand side. We'll talk about what these are as we go through the session, but one of the takeaways from this particular video is that there are two distinct pages here. These are known as project detail pages, as we discussed earlier. And for the schedule page, you'll notice that the ribbon is displaying very specific commands related to managing a schedule. And from the ribbon, you'll notice that there are distinctive tabs related to this particular project. So based on what page you have selected, you are going to get different options in this upper area. And we'll basically start from left to right so that we can look at these tabs in a little bit more detail. I'll click on Browse, and you'll notice that when I click on Browse that it's basically showing me the details of really where I am, right? Schedule, Module 2 Demo Project, and there is a way that I can navigate even out of this from here. When I click on the Project tab, notice that we're getting into a little bit more detail of the particular project. So I'll go back to that Browse tab just to notice the difference that here it's really showing me where I am within the project, but it's also giving me this far left-hand side image, which is essentially a hyperlink back to the home page. I'll click back on the Project tab, and you'll notice that from the Project tab, again, more details about the project, including closing it out, as well as saving. I'll then navigate to the Page tab, and notice that from the Page tab, it has more to do with what you would traditionally see in a SharePoint site related to doing things like editing a page, or editing, editing the properties of that particular page. So it's really page management. Then over to the right of that, you notice that these tabs look a little bit different, and these are really getting us into the details of this particular schedule and the details of this page. So not every single one of your project detail pages will give you the ability to get into areas like tasks and options. It's largely due to the fact that we are in a very specific web part and this web part has specific functionality available to it and it's now made available via the ribbon. So you'll th see things like saving and the ability to close it and publish it, as well as a number of other commands that we'll go through. Also, you can take a look at the Options tab, 
And from the Options tab, we have things like showing the project summary task, or printing, or even exporting the project data. And I'll simply go back to the Project tab for now. Now the distinction between the Schedule Project Detail page and a page like the Project Details is the Project Details, again, as a Project Detail page, is going to reveal specific project information related to this project. This is where you can gather project metadata or project property information. And this can easily be edited from here. You'll also notice that when you are in the project details, that there is not a task or an options tab available to you. You are simply gathering the project information from within this area. The other place that you want to make a note of, the other area, is right below the title of the project is a status area. And notice it's telling us when it was checked out and when it was last modified. Now note the difference between this status message and the status message you get when you go into the schedule page. The schedule page shows you that same information, but it also is revealing the notion of the version, which in this case is draft. We'll talk more about the version between draft and publish as we go through this, but for now, I want you to just simply observe the version that I'm currently in. Now let's go ahead and make a couple changes to this particular project. The first thing I'll do is click right below the Module 2 Demo Project, and I'm just simply going to type in a couple tasks. So I'll type in Scope here, and hit the Enter key. Then I'll type in Determine Project Scope, okay, and again, hit the Enter. And notice that it is allowing me to simply enter in tasks the way you would traditionally work in a in Microsoft Project in this particular case. Now I want to save these changes. So I'm going to click up on the Save command and simply make that change. You'll also notice that over to the right hand side we get a status message coming from Project telling us what it's doing. It's processing, it's saving, right, and in some cases, which we'll see later, publishing. Right? So it's a good idea to let those messages basically flush through before you proceed to your next step. Now at this point, our exercise in this session was simply going in and opening and closing, and that's what we'll do here, where I just want to close out of this particular project. So I'll hit my close command. When I click on close, project is then going to prompt me as to what I want to do with this particular project. Do I want to check it back in? or do I want to leave it checked out? In this case, I'll simply check it back in, click OK. And so we're closing out of the project, notice the status message, and it simply brings us back into the Project Center.